I'm sure you'd agree that kids' bedrooms are unlike any other room in the house. They carry the personality of the child or children who live there. So while the rest of the house uh, carries the imprint of the parents and might have muted decor, neutral colors, the child's bedroom can go in any imaginative direction. Hi, I'm Richa and I've been a design consultant with Circle Furniture since 2017. Designing kids' rooms is a passion of mine and I know that often getting started is the hardest part. So let's not waste any time and let's dive right in. Even before we start designing and figuring out what needs to go into the bedroom, you want to address two key issues here. The first is space planning. And by that, what I mean is you need to know what functions the bedroom is going to perform other than your child sleeping in it. Is he going to need a workstation for his homework? Does he need a play area? Uh, are there any hobbies that your child is interested in, like a musical instrument that they like to play or books that they might want to read? You also want to figure out whether you will be having overnight stays with cousins or friends. So all your shopping uh, regarding the furniture that goes into that room depends on what functions the bedroom is going to perform. Using the Circle Furniture Room Planner is one way that you can set up the room, put out the furniture and see how big or how wide or what dimensions your furniture needs to meet to be able to function comfortably in the room. The second thing to consider carefully is the personality of your child and you as the parent know it best. So if your child is more hyperactive and has a lot of energy, you might want colors in the room that calm them down and help them sleep more peacefully. On the other hand, if you have a child who is shy and quiet, you might be looking for colors that can stimulate. So maybe pops of reds and oranges, bright colors that can help them uh, feel more active. After you have decided on what furniture needs to go in there and what mood you want the room to reflect, you're now ready to do the shopping for your furniture. Shopping for children's furniture can go in a million different ways. And as you can see next to me is this bed, which is a really beautiful bright yellow. And it's again, something that'll brighten up the child's room. However, you might wonder if this is a good option for your child growing up. And so there are two ways to take it. So one way would be if you look at this bed, it's a beautiful bright yellow and it would work perfectly for the first five years of maybe your big boy bedroom, it might be a little more difficult for him to transition the same bed to his teenage years. And that is a conversation that you can have with your child, whether you want to keep this for the first five and then do something else when he grows up. Or the other way is to go with something more muted to begin with, and we go with the neutrals like a white or even this beautiful navy blue. So this is something that you can start off with and can grow with your child as he grows into the teenage years. So thank you for watching this video and I hope that it has given you some fun design ideas that your child will love. And if you would like to know more about how much it costs to furnish a bedroom, please watch our next video.